give thought God a little bit of thanks and praise that he could bring all of us together. Put your hands together. Um, by the way, I know that I don't know everybody that's gathered here today, but I hope we have an opportunity to at least howdy a little bit uh, before you leave, all right? Now, let's, uh, let's turn our attention and let's focus on this little piece that I have written. It's a responsive re uh, reading. It's called The Manifold Wisdom of God. Just a little context. This morning we will hear as the words of Ephesians are read that the church, we're the church. No matter where we reside, we're here today. We're members of the body of Jesus Christ. And we're called together for a purpose. And the purpose that we have been given is that we would give witness to the manifold wisdom of God. Now, what I'm going to seek to do this morning is to listen and try to be obedient to what is in the book of Ephesians, but I'm going to look at the cross of Christ to be able to talk about this. So this is a responsive reading. It is almost, well, it is an introduction, and it's almost the outline of my sermon. So if you would stand with me only as you are able and let's read responsively as best as we can. Jesus spoke few words as he walked from the Garden of Gethsemane to the cross, through the tomb, and rose to newness of life. At each stop, Jesus reveals the way of the wisdom of God. Let us watch and pray that we may see Jesus. Jesus says, watch and pray so that you do not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Weighted down by our flesh, Jesus cried, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? With his last breath, Jesus cried, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Jesus rose to born again life on Easter morning. He said, do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers and sisters, by the way, to go to Galilee. There they will, there they will see me. Remember, watch and pray, especially in times of conflict. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Our flesh will cry, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Our willing spirit will faithfully say, into your hands I commit my spirit. When we have wisdom to see every conflict as an opportunity to make disciples of Jesus Christ. Wisdom teaches us to walk with one another from Gethsemane to the cross, through the tomb, to witness people uh, be born again, only then shall we experience uh, that Jesus is with us always, even to the end of the age. And you may be seated. Would you bow with me one more time, please?
So Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we posed a question. Where are we corporately as Trinity United Methodist Church in light of your purpose for which you have called us? Where, O oh God, are we where are we individually in our own Gethsemanes or attempts to take up our cross and to follow? As we struggle with our empty tombs, the afflictions in our personal life, in our corporate life. Father, in these moments of silence, come as only you can. And illumine our hearts, minds, and souls with your presence that we might know that while we are seated in the sanctuary, that you seek to love us in the depths of our hearts, our minds and our souls, especially the troubled, afflicted parts. Search and speak now, O oh God. Thank you that you always hear our prayers. Thank you for an opportunity to listen to your still, small voice. And now, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, as we move forward in this worship service, thank you for preparing, for preparing us to hear your word. Might we watch and might we pray is we find that our spirits are willing, but our flesh is terribly weak. Through Christ our Lord, the giver of all grace, we give you thanks. Amen.